Uh, assalamu alaikum everyone uh, this is uh, the static and dynamic balancing machine from norwood and uh, we have to look at the static and dynamic balancing today uh, as you can see uh, here the shaft the four masses are mounted at it at 180 degree two at 180 degree to each other so right now the shaft is uh, balanced in this position because i can stop it at any location you can see that uh, this would be the shaft is statically balanced actually so if I look at that if I operate that uh, I'll see that the shaft is uh, dynamically balanced as well you can see that uh, <coughs> these two will produce moment and these two will produce moment <coughs> so the moments of them would be cancel out So the four masses are mounted with a gap of 5 cm each. The first one is at 5 cm, the second one is at 10 cm, the third one is at 15 cm and the fourth one is at 20 cm. So <coughs> you can see the control panel at the front, there are different switches or knobs. This knob is here to basically control uh, the speed of the motor right there right at the bottom and this is the on off switch of the motor and uh, this indicator basically shows the rpm the maximum rpm is about 1100 and this is the emergency stop okay so we have to check whether this shaft is balanced or not and uh, what are the basically uh, the symptoms or uh, the signs from where we can l deduct that the shaft is uh, actually not dynamically balanced so before starting the experiment I'll have to first put up the guard here because I cannot start the motor as before I place the guard on it so you can see that there's a uh, there's a <coughs> there is a safety switch as well so before starting the experiment mount the guard safety guard now you can see that okay increase the speed The shaft is rotating smoothly. There is no noise, no vibrations. That's a really smooth working. Okay, right now it's 11.30 RPM and you can listen the sound of the machine or the motor. Okay, this is uh, the balancing position exactly. So to unbalance the shaft, I'll use the different masses available here. I'll use these masses in the slots and see what what happens exactly so first of all I'll put one mass in this slot okay I have introduced a mass of 45 gram in the most left side mass so let's see I'll again place the car